She was even thinner than when he last saw her across the barn at one of the rare Sunday services he'd attended before Wayne's death. Patricia Johns started out writing love stories featuring cowboys and lawmen. But these days, the full-time writer is focusing on Amish romance. They aren't allowed to just touch each other. They aren't allowed to just fall into each other's arms. They can't, there certainly isn't any premarital sex. She says the popularity of chaste books set in conservative Christian communities was appealing. But she's found she loves writing them, trying to add spice to strict social confines. They have to be looking towards marriage. They can't just be fooling around and seeing what they think. So because there are so many different social restrictions, when um, he grabs her hand and pulls her in, that is so much more heart pounding because he is crossing lines he should not be crossing. This means finding creative ways to get love interests alone time. <laughs> the barn scene. Oh, I use the barn scene. I think everyone uses the barn scene. <laughs> In a time when people are forced apart from each other and their communities, tales of pastoral passion might be comforting, says one expert. Amish romance fulfills a, a desire for people for something simpler. Something less graphic, less explicit, less fast moving. Let's talk about sanity. Let's talk about a world of order when ours seems to be more chaotic. While some may see the genre as an escape, others find themselves in the stories. It highlights how no matter who you are or what kind of lifestyle you lead, like the, the feelings and the thoughts and the emotions that we experience are all kind of the same. For Johns, she thinks that while the love story is part of the allure of her books, the setting and sense of community and family coming together is just as appealing. It's almost a fantasy where um, we're allowed to need something and we're allowed to accept help. And I think that's something that's pretty poignant for our society right now. Paige Parsons, CBC News, Edmonton.